Well, welcome back. Um, we just fought that evil old bitch. Um, and I decided to do some extra stuff afterwards to uh, re up on some potions. And oh, yeah, my sick voice is back. So, yay. Um, gear. I didn't have anything for this at the moment. Shut up. Uh, before we decide to head out into the world of finishing the main quests and but hopefully I get to do two meetings two, not two, two missions that I needed to do today so yay I hate talking. I hate having a voice like this. I, I, I actually hate it. Um, so, apologies. It is not my favorite voice in the world, but I got kids, so I get sick often. All right. All right, we're leaving. Let's go. Meet up with, um, what's this go right here? What fucking mess is this? Puffskin, I don't care about puffskins. We're finna do. I swear to God, shut up, you stupid daffle lilies. Or Dilla Lads or Dandy Lilies, whatever the hell they call. This place has seen better days. Shut up. Should have sued that old lady. Tree. Uh, so we about to wait on uh, what's her name? Here she is. Put an end to Halo. Um, hopefully. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must a gather information plan. from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibel, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. I suggest Grab. that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the hog's head, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. I bet. I'll speak with the pickle friends. We're gonna run? Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rib, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. Okay, Very so I well. gotta go to. I'll Hulk speak movie. with them, see what I can learn. Cool, I cool, cool. Rely on you. Man, we this uh, so this is louder than my voice because I have sick voice. Uh, let's see. Shut up. Uh, I don't think I can fly. I can't fly into Hogsmeade. I wanted to see if she changed, and I just realized that after I did this. Yeah, I still got set up for. Yeah, let's go. We perform a curse on people. Shut up. Just go upstairs. Talk to her. Damn, that's a lot of goddamn stairs. Oh my god. Oh, Ito. What have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wonder if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. Mm. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow is. Why is she so pale? What do you mean? Why? I'm a security guard at Gringotts. Mm. And my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues. Curse breaker. Hey? Eh? And you declined? Of course I declined. 
repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. Damn. Hey, hold on. I'm a kid. Hey, I can't fuck this nigga. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco. I wouldn't help him either. To compromise my integrity. Not even because I of that. I know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Are you sure uh, some you goblins eat flesh. What possibly mean? So, but yeah. I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly. But those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. All right. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. I worry about this Please don't put yourself in danger. I'll kill him right now. Oh, I can right now. It's worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh. Is the door outside? There's a door outside. What the hell? Mr. Bick. Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Uh, please tell me you didn't take it. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? The please, fuck is a cravat? I, help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickle? All right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know the Mr. fuck is a cravat? He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. Use that as an insult. I was distracted. Oh, cravat here there. In an when you know who came into the shop. Voldemort? The oh, my God. This is oh, my God. Help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he placed. I went into mm. the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. Oh, shit. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. Damn, whoa, 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 Mr. you Hill. bogus. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could well? never live without Rosie. All right, that's good. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. No, I'm dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, <laughs> should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Why would I happen upon it? Hurry off before know. Mr. Hill returns. Right. I don't know who the fuck Mr. Hill is. We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. You seem sus, bro. Excuse me, Mr. Seems Filbert. Seems sus indeed. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. Man, you got beat up. Retaliation. Dang. So I refused. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, 
Perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But <sighs> perhaps oh, you a bitch. A similar fate. Mm. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before you stop being a bitch? Yeah. Dulcibella passed away. She had just completed a small book of poetry. Oh, nice. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate. Oh, that's sad. I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling. No, that's nice. To punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Dust, I what's it, up? I'd been petrified. And Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. Right, I'm going to get that back for you, my dog. My core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine How long ago was this? Retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singh? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. I mean, it could. Pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. I'm about to help. I'm going. Good job. Not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Mm, no fuck or Harlow won't. He guess he's wants. I'm gonna fuck kill Carlo. We finna kill Harlow. Um, he gonna catch this one. She better not be sitting here as a goddamn gazelle. Rebellion. How have I been to Hogsmeade so many times and just not finding that? Oh my god. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hogs Head. Perhaps I'll find her there. God damn it, Natty. Hogs mead. I wonder what hog with hogs mead tastes like. Is it like earthy? All right, remember that for later. Gotta break into some houses later. We just cats on my way. Natty must be around here somewhere. Natty's won. She can cast without us. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. Revelio. The hell is digging? Do do do. Lovely little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> I will kill you where you stand, nigga. Matter of fact, yeah. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Oh, motherfuckers about to go, get, go in. Y'all don't take Natty, bro. Y'all finna get. Yup. To this room. No, no, that shit was sweet, huh? Must be another way forward. Oops. Accio. Yeah, like it, uh, help us. You might be help us, right? Yeah, they're gonna get killed. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Rebellion. Ain't no stealth. Ain't no nothing. Y'all took my homie. Y'all finna get dealt with. It's curses and dispel the dispelments all day. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. 
good. People are here want ice water. Imagine you could feel Revelio, like, what the hell? Let's see. Who the fuck is Gwendolyn Zarrow? I ought to pay that too. Pretty little shopkeeper in his fading tag. I don't. I'm tired of hiding, bro. Hold on. I'm tired of hiding, bro. Motherfucker's about to get cursed and dead in. Mop! Yeah, y'all know what it is. You tried to incendio me, my guy? Hold on. You tried to incendio me, my guy? Do the work for me. Get that out of your hand, boy. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. What you thought was gonna happen for you? Rebellion. Yeah. Y'all come down here to my homie. The book of poems that was taken from Agatha Selwood. And expect me to be okay with this shit? I mean, none of that. Yeah. Hey, a table. Rebellion. Uh, chess. And uh, money. And uh, this. Hopefully, I have room to have room to have room. Yep. I did a five face item. Uh. Scarves are whack. Also, Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. And I don't think I will be doing that. I was supposed to be doing stealth, but I just, I didn't want to, bro. Like, for real. Rebellion. Maybe I should have. He knew nothing in here. What the hell I come here for? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Money. 
So I could have not have fought any of them. Just came up here and like this. Okay, that probably would have been helpful. He must be here somewhere. I don't give a fuck. Let's go. You found that. I knew you would realize I had left my wand for you. Speak to Mr. Rain. He will tell you I went. I need help. You look like a traitor. Mr. Rain. Hey, you like the main character. But regular. Like stock face character dude. He's Dr. Kallus, and he's an anti apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find you together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Um, I'm telling you right now, ain't your friend Natty was not able to send that anyone. It must be blocked by something. It was in my pocket. Where the fuck is your wand at, dude? Hold on. Is it is it upstairs? Hey Natty, you want your wand back? You want your wand back? Mr. Raid's wand could be in there. I could just pull the goddamn door off. Bombard. Yes. Mr. Rape, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Right, I'm gonna go over here and talk to Natty. You go ahead and do that. Hey, what's up, girl? You good? Oh. I don't really trust this dude that much. All right, cool. Here you go. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. Okay, you cool. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Yeah, yeah, we can be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Not really worried about nobody. Be prepared Let's go. For a fight. These ash winders must pay. Let me fuck this nigga. Do do. I don't know what fight you thought I was going to be prepared for, but I beat their ass already, so. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for <laughs> Be prepared for a fight. These ass are oh, wait, ain't nobody here. Yeah, I know. I beat their ass already. Officer Singer, what you do already standing here for? I own I. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Yep. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you too. Yeah, the person who Mr. saved Joe ass. Right. He is. I sent him home to his wife, Miss Onai. Your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe, to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. Who the fuck are you As talking to? You, I did your job. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Who are you talking to? 
Who are you talking to? You may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Kushak's question was. A few moments later. Alright, let's go see what this girl talking about. Let's go see what she talking about. I have been meaning to she speak probably with you. she probably talk about nothing, man. That's what you. I turn that with you. I forgot. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. Either that, or we finna go fight. Uh, what's his name? But you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She nope. likely told other professors, and <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? No, because you're a bitch! She not. Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabilliland, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? Oh, it was backstory. A beautiful day. My mother had gone to tell me that he was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an Animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits. Like, who had that's cool being an Animagus and all. One of them saw me but... just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted. I might have been a giraffe. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Oh, they were muggles. Magic terrified them. Oh, and shit. He was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting oh, myself, shit. he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on with This is wild. It became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine. I don't want to ask the questions, but. Your it just seems like crying. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. E! Soon you I mean, and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Bet. Thank you again for saving me. Bet. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Revelio. Why does it say it's a chest right here? I don't see no chest. All right. Uh. And all right, we are here with Poppy I Sweeting. This. I can do this. They will want with? to help. Who are you talking? Oh. Is this where we're meeting the Centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise. But you're going to get me killed. I'm not sure about this. I can't imagine they're fond of being surprised. My we don't have a choice if we want to help the Snidgets. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so no. knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. I've no... we've no secrets. Bet you got secrets to hide. Sure to all be Who's right here?
We're gonna get jumped. I'm gonna have to kill a centaur. God damn it, Poppy. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please. We were hoping I started to read. Who the fuck you ah, call human? I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No, never. He got locks, bro. Hold on, we go. We need your help. Enough. You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Eric. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. Hey, you forget your place, old fool. Damn, I'm hold on. The leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. I wouldn't say I've slaughtered no one, my but I ain't never slaughtered any of If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. Bro, I guarantee you, my hair will be just fine. Foolish children. Do I guarantee you. The wizards who wander here. Now, follow me. Golden I... Sidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means yet. Please help us find the What Snidget. the fuck Call is a Snidget and a cravat? Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. The fuck is a henge? I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to kill this entire now. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight. But to a moonstone. Bitch, I need you to what catch do up. Have to do with it doesn't matter. Let's go find a damn yeah. thing. Shut the fuck up. So certain about where we could find one. Cause he probably knows. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him. What with his being a centaur and all. I am too. Tis a shame how quickly he left. This music kind of hidden. Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can I'd rather you not drag me in your bullshit. The cave you mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. All right, then. I guess that was it for Papa Sweet Quest. All right, we finna head back to the room of requirement because I need to get my rest of my stuff. God damn it, Deke. And on that note, y'all, uh, unless in the next five seconds a no pop up will pop for Poppy. Ooh, hey, some goggles. Nothing. All right, then. I'm going to holler at y'all later. And y'all know the vibes. I said I'm going to holler at y'all later. I don't know why I'm still talking. I'm trying to wait and see if it's going to pop up. It doesn't look like it. All right, then. Latest.